Hi again, it's Clinton here for CRK TV and we're at Met Expo 2019. I'm here with Nick Ahern and, uh, from Jar Media and Nick is actually a cinematographer. He's been in the industry for a long time, but uh, thanks for dropping by the booth. You are a big fan of Zeiss products. I love Zeiss. Yep. And uh, we were going to talk a quickly about you know some of uh, the products that you've used on, on various projects. So uh, tell us a bit about Jar Media and also uh, uh, the background in terms of how you got into the industry. Uh, okay, look, my background is basically starting in 1987, sort of mainly video, educational, that's, that's how I sort of um, started. Then I got uh, sort of passionate about documentaries uh, and that sort of led me into the 16mm film side where I sort of started working with, with film, did a bit of 35 stuff and then um, obviously that there was a bit of a hole there where I just was so passionate about shooting on film, I really didn't want to shoot on anything else. Uh, until that sort of the digital stuff started coming in with the 4K and, you know, the Reds and Aries and, you know, the Black Magics, all these sort of cameras suddenly um, sort of changed the goalpost a bit, I think. So uh, now doing drama, which I'm doing a lot more drama now because I've sort of up until then, it's been mainly documentaries. From my point, it's always been about trying to get that look of film. A lot of people say they can't tell the difference, but if you sort of grew up in it, okay. you, you can still tell the difference, I think. What facets of, the, of documentary filmmaking do you think you like? Oh, look, I think it's a journey, actually, as a storyteller. Interviewing people, hanging out with people, sort of trying to put all the elements together. It's not like a feature film where you've got a complete script and it's still an interpretation, but you've got a bit of a blueprint with a lot of documentary making, you tend to go on one track, but it takes you somewhere else. It's also the unknown sometimes. It's the unknown. Yeah. It's the unknown. And how? Sometimes for better or for worse. Yeah. Now, yeah. Um, and you shoot on Zeiss for both documentary work and narrative work as well. Okay. So, and what, you, what have you been using lately? I normally use the primes, the uh, 25, 35, and a 50. Okay. Uh, so just three focal lengths. Yeah. Okay. So why why the CP3s in particular? Uh, well, I'm also a Steadicam operator. They are quite uh, a bit lighter than the twos. The fact that they're all exactly the same and you can pull your follow focus off, chuck another focal length on and really nothing else has to be changed. Is there an aesthetic about the Zeiss uh, lenses or the optical quality that you, you like as well or you have a, a propensity to? Look, I really like them. They are a lovely lens. I, I don't think anyone would deny that. And they are a slightly different look to the Canons I've found. Uh, I've, I've used um, Canon cine lenses as well. You know, people can use different descriptors, but for me, in comparing them to other lenses, that, that was the first thing I noticed, the sharpness. But it, it has a little bit of a cleaner, what I would call a cleaner sort of a look to them. All right, lastly, uh, tell us a bit about uh, your, any new projects that you have in the pipeline and what's happening, and then where can we find more information about Jar Media? Well, we've been uh, working on a documentary on the history of Australian cinema, so that's sort of looking at all the um, looking at the feature films that have been made since probably the early 70s, when the industry really sort of took off. Yeah. So we've interviewed normally the directors, DPs, and and obviously the actors, yeah. uh, and sometimes the writers, and um, so that's been a really exciting project. And for me personally. I've just learned so much yeah, because yeah. when you know when you talk to those guys with that amount of experience mm. just about all of them are very humble and they're only too happy to impart an incredible amount of knowledge that will probably be finished in the next six months we've had a few hold-ups this year but th there is one other thing that that my wife and I do um, we're sort of based in the Blue Mountains and we've she ran a, a theatre class for many years and then we started a film side of it so we're actually, we produced a web series a year ago and we're actually producing a feature film coming up with some of those uh, key actors that have been with Joe since they were sort of five or six, they're now 18. So that's been really exciting to actually be working with young people and provide a platform where we can actually, we, we train them behind the camera, in front of the camera. So we've got kids, um, you know, learning camera, learning boom. We've got writing classes where they're starting to learn with other teachers how to construct a, a, yeah. and, and write a film. So yeah. that's been really exciting. Can't go wrong with education, man. Giving back to the young ones. Fantastic. And awesome, awesome talented people. Yeah. 
for more information on yourself and your work, where can we go to? Oh, look, Jar Media, J A H um, Media, or um, Three Three Sisters TV. Good on you, Nick. Good on you. So thanks so much for stopping by the booth and visiting us at MET. And uh, terrific. Thanks for watching, guys.